The nurse works with pediatric patients who have diabetes. Which is the youngest age group to which the nurse can effectively teach psychomotor skills such as insulin administration? 1. Toddler 2. Preschool 3. School age 4. Adolescent. Answer 3. School age rationale. Complicated skills, such as learning to use a syringe, require considerable practice but are developmentally appropriate for school age children. Which of the following is an appropriately stated learning objective for Mr. Ryan, who is newly diagnosed with diabetes? 1. Mr. Ryan will understand diabetes. 2. Mr. Ryan will be taught self-administration of insulin by five halves. 3. Mr. Ryan will know the signs and symptoms of low blood sugar by five-fifths. 4. Mr. Ryan will perform blood glucose monitoring with the EZ check monitor by the time of discharge. Answer 4. Mr. Ryan will perform blood glucose monitoring with the EZ check monitor by the time of discharge. Rationale. The objective describes an appropriate and achievable skill that the patient can be expected to master within a realistic time frame. A patient needs to learn to use a walker. Which domain is required for learning this skill? A. Affective domain B. Cognitive domain C. Attentional domain D. Psychomotor domain. Answer. D. Psychomotor domain rational. Using a walker requires the integration of mental and muscular activity. Demonstration of the principles of body mechanics used when transferring patients from bed to chair would be classified under which domain of learning? 1. Social 2. Effective 3. Cognitive 4. Psychomotor. Answer 4. Psychomotor rationale. Psychomotor learning involves acquiring skills that integrate mental and muscular activity. Effective is receiving, responding, valuing, organizing, and characterizing. Cognitive learning is knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. A patient with chest pain is having an emergency cardiac catheterization. Which teaching approach does the nurse use in this situation? A. Telling approach B. Selling approach C. Entrusting approach D. Participating approach. Answer. A. Telling approach rational. The telling approach is most appropriate when preparing a patient for an emergency procedure. The nurse is teaching a parenting class to a group of pregnant adolescents. The nurse pretends to be the baby's father, and the adolescent mother is asked to show how she would respond to the father if he gave her a can of beer. Which teaching approach did the nurse use? A. Role play B. Discovery C. An analogy D. A demonstration. Answer. Role play rational. In role play people are asked to play themselves or someone else in a situation to enhance their confidence in handling that situation in the future. Analogy. Supplement. Compare verbal instruction with familiar images. During a teaching session, the nurse tells a patient with a recent neck injury that damage to the nerves is comparable to a water hose that has been pinched off. During this teaching session, the nurse is using the process of A analogy, B discovery, C role playing, D demonstration. Answer A analogy, rational analogy, supplement, compare verbal instruction with familiar images, role playing, people play themselves or someone else. An older adult is being started on a new antihypertensive medication. In teaching the patient about the medication, the nurse a, speaks loudly. B. Presents the information once. C. Expects the patient to understand the information quickly. D. Allows the patient time to express himself or herself and ask questions.
Answer. D allows the patient time to express himself or herself and ask questions rational. When teaching older adults, it is important to establish rapport involve them in their care and allow them to progress at their own pace. A patient needs to learn how to administer a subcutaneous injection. Which of the following reflects that the patient is ready to learn? A. Describing difficulties a family member has had in taking insulin. B. Expressing the importance of learning the skill correctly. C. Being able to see and understand the markings on the syringe. D. Having the dexterity needed to prepare and inject the medication. Answer. B. Expressing the importance of learning the skill correctly. Rational. Patients are ready to learn when they understand the importance of learning and are motivated to learn. Which of the following patients is most ready to begin a patient teaching session? 1. Ms. Hernandez, who is unwilling to accept that her back injury may result in permanent paralysis. 2. Mr. Frank, who is nearly diagnosed with diabetes, who is complaining that he was awake all night because of his noisy roommate. 3. Mrs. Brown, a patient with irritable bowel syndrome who has just returned from a morning of testing in the gastrointestinal laboratory. 4. Mr. Jones, a patient who had a heart attack four days ago and now seems somewhat anxious about how this will affect his future. Answer 4. Mr. Jones, a patient who had a heart attack four days ago and now seems somewhat anxious about how this will affect his future. Rationale. A mild level of anxiety motivates learning, but a high level of anxiety prevents learning from occurring. A patient newly diagnosed with cervical cancer is going home. The patient is avoiding discussion of her illness and post-operative orders. What is the nurse's best plan in teaching this patient? A. Teach the patient's spouse. B. Focus on knowledge the patient will need in a few weeks. C. Provide only the information that the patient needs to go home. D. Convince the patient that learning about her health is necessary. Answer. C. Provide only the information that the patient needs to go home. Rational. This patient is in denial. Thus, it is appropriate to only give her information that is needed immediately. The school nurse is about to teach a freshman-level high school health class about nutrition. What is the best instructional approach to ensure that the students meet the learning outcomes? A. Provide information using a lecture. B. Use simple words to promote understanding. C. Develop topics for discussion that require problem-solving. D. Complete an extensive literature search focusing on eating disorders. Answer. C. Develop topics for discussion that require problem-solving rational. Adolescents learn best when they are able to use problem-solving to help them make choices. A nurse is going to teach a patient how to perform breast self-examination. Which behavioral objective does the nurse set to best measure the patient's ability to perform the examination? A. The patient will verbalize the steps involved in breast self-examination within one week. B. The nurse will explain the importance of performing breast self-examination once a month. C. The patient will perform breast self-examination correctly on herself before the end of the teaching session. D. The nurse will demonstrate breast self-examination on a breast model provided by the American Cancer Society. Answer. See the patient will perform breast self-examination correctly on herself before the end of the teaching session. Rational. Return demonstration provides an excellent source of feedback and reinforcement to evaluate learning. An internal impulse that causes a person to take action is 1. Anxiety 2. Motivation 3. Adaptation 4. Compliance.
Answer 2. Motivation rationale, an internal impulse is a force acting on or within a person that causes the person to behave in a particular way. A patient who is hospitalized has just been diagnosed with diabetes. He is going to need to learn how to give himself injections. Which teaching method does the nurse use? A. Simulation B. Demonstration C. Group Instruction D. One-on-one -on -one discussion. Answer B. Demonstration Rational. Demonstration is used to help patients learn psychomotor skills. When a nurse is teaching a patient about how to administer an epinephrine injection in case of a severe allergic reaction, he or she tells the patient to hold the injection like a dart. Which of the following instructional methods did the nurse use? A. Telling B. Analogy C. Demonstration D. Simulation Answer. B. Analogy Rational analogies use familiar images when teaching to help explain complex information. A nurse is teaching a group of young college-age women the importance of using sunscreen when going out in the sun. What type of content is the nurse providing? A. Simulation B. Restoring Health C. Coping with Impaired Function D. Health Promotion and Illness Prevention Answer D. Health Promotion and Illness Prevention Rational Health promotion and illness prevention are the focus when nurses provide information to help patients improve their health and avoid illness. A nurse is planning a teaching session about healthy nutrition with a group of children who are in first grade. The nurse determines that after the teaching session the children will be able to name three examples of foods that are fruits. This is an example of A. A teaching plan. B. A learning objective. C. Reinforcement of content. D. Enhancing the children's self-efficacy. Answer. B. A learning objective. Rational. A learning objective describes what the learner will do after the teaching session. A nurse is teaching a 27-year-old gentleman how to adjust his insulin dosages based on his blood sugar results. What type of learning is this? A. Cognitive B. Effective C. Adaptation D. Psychomotor Answer A. Cognitive Rational Cognitive learning requires thinking. Learning how to adjust insulin requires analysis, synthesis, and evaluation, which are all types of cognitive learning. The blank is a closed-loop communication technique used to evaluate patient understanding and retention of material. Answer. Teach back method rational. Teach back is a closed loop communication technique that assesses patient retention of the information imparted during a teaching session. A nurse needs to teach a young woman newly diagnosed with asthma how to manage her disease. Which of the following topics does the nurse teach first? A. How to use an inhaler during an asthma attack. B. The need to avoid people who smoke to prevent asthma attacks. See where to purchase a medical alert bracelet that says she has asthma. D. The importance of maintaining a healthy diet and exercising regularly. Answer. A. How to use an inhaler during an asthma attack. Rational. It is important to start with essential life-saving information when teaching people because they usually remember what you tell them first. The nurse is planning to teach a patient about the importance of exercise. When is the best time for teaching to occur? Select all that apply. A. When there are visitors in the room. B. When the patient's pain medications are working. C. Just before lunch when the patient is most awake and alert. D. When the patient is talking about current stressors in his or her life. Answer B. When the patient's pain medications are working. C. Just before lunch. When the patient is most awake and alert. Rational. Plan teaching when the patient is most attentive, receptive, alert, and comfortable. 
The nurse is organizing a disease prevention program for a specific cultural group. To effectively meet the needs of this group, the nurse will select all that apply. 1. Assess the needs of the community in general. 2. Involve those affected by the problem in the planning process. 3. Develop generalized goals and objectives for the program. 4. Use educational materials that are simplistic and have many pictures. 5. Asses commonly held health beliefs among the cultural group. 6. Educate the specific cultural group about Western concepts of health and illness. 7. Include cultural practices that are relevant to the specific community. Answer 2. Involve those affected by the problem in the planning process. 5. Asses commonly held health beliefs among the cultural group. 7. Include cultural practices that are relevant to the specific community. Rational. When planning a program, it is important to involve those affected by the problem to better serve the group's needs. Learning about traditional health practices beliefs within the community enhances the nurse's understanding of a specific cultural group. Effective educational strategies require the nurse to use culturally tailored interactive instructional methods that involve the family and community in the learning process.